Hey coffee friends, welcome to another episode of Painting with Coffee. I was watching Toy Story the other day and I got inspired to paint my favorite character. Hmm, you're wondering. Oh, Mr. Potato Head. Oh yeah, so sit back, relax, grab a coffee, and there's a downloadable version if you want to follow along. So, enjoy. I've got all my supplies laid out and I've got this piece set up for 4x6. On the side I put an extra scrap piece of paper to make a color palette. Next we're going to head down a few inches and start the top of Mr. Potato Head. It's a bit of a cone shape with a fatter bottom and narrower top. And then we're going to lay out where the eyes go, the bottom of the nose, there's the mustache, and try to figure out the spacing for the mouth. And then I just Kept figuring he looked better, larger and larger, with some weight on him. So don't be afraid to keep drawing lines and then we'll make a strong line later. And then we'll color it with marker. And you can start making some marks for his shoes. They kind of come out in front of him. And next we'll work on his ears. And they just go up and around like every normal ear. I'm sure you've drawn ears before or a regular letter C or backwards C that always helps and the eyes are like the letter U and then they go angled across at the top with a little line for his eyelid and we'll work on the nose it's a cute little nose and that just happens to be the one piece I lost as a kid so my Mr. Potato Head did not have a nose and then we'll work on the mustache it's a round connected kind of like a cloud then we'll go come down and bring the mouth, go across and have the teeth, and work on the eyes. So make sure you leave a little dot for the pupil, and then we'll make his big bushy eyebrows, <laughs> just like mine. And he's raising his hand, because he's about to say, hey, I need some coffee. And his hands are just gonna be four, uh, four fingered, just like any cartoon. Next we'll work on the coffee cup. So draw a round oval for the top of the mug and then the handle lightly. And then we're gonna try to fit his fingers in there, work it up to his wrist. And then once you like it, we'll connect it up to his body. We'll move on to his shoes. I just looked at a photo of a toy Mr. Potato Head and I was just following that. Drawing some lines. I know they were big blue plastic shoes, it's super funny looking, but uh, I tried to mimic that here. And then once you have everything in place, you can start pushing a little harder with the pencil and make the lines a lot darker. And just start making some well established lines and then we'll draw on top of that with marker. But don't forget to add the little squiggles in the ears. And here you can see I'm just manipulating the hands. Just trying to get them in the correct way that it would look if you were holding a mug. I just wasn't happy with it, so I just kept redrawing it over and over again until there's something that I liked. That's the cool thing about art, especially before we put marker down. You can definitely change any of this, so feel free to manipulate. Now it's time to erase a lot of the sketch lines and we'll start markering. Really establish this Mr. Potato Head. So you can basically just trace over all the pencil lines that we drew. Once you've marked everything, make sure you erase all the pencil lines. I've learned kind of that painting over top of the pencil lines really makes the pencil lines permanent. So it's easier to erase now and then paint over it than it is to try to erase them after paint's on top. And here comes the fun part. Bring out your teaspoon and it's time to get some instant coffee. I have yet to come up with a method to this madness, but uh, I kind of eyeball it. I do one with a lot. 
one with a medium amount and one with a little amount. I am going to work on a better method to try to explain this to everybody watching so you can do it at home. But until then, this is what I do. And I try to fill the bowls up with the same amount of water in each one. And then you got to make your water cup so that you can clean your brushes. I give it a good stir and then I make a color key on the side. So here you'll see a medium and then looks to be a lighter version and then a darker version. And then keep it in the same order so you know which one, which bowl to use for which pieces. I stared at a photo of them to decide what pieces I wanted to be what shades of coffee. So for the arms, I picked the lightest. It made the most sense to add the most contrast on this piece since it'll be entirely painted with coffee. Pretty neat. And I grabbed the medium color, medium roast to paint his ears. And if you want it darker, or thicker, just keep adding a little bit more of the coffee paint to the thing you're painting and it'll make it it'll make it darker. And uh, I really like how these ears turn out. Then pick up some of the darkest blend and we'll paint his hat. Because his hat's almost black, so the darkest color really helps with the contrast for this one. And we'll do the same on his mustache as well. But don't feel like you had to copy everything I'm doing. Mr. Potato Head is scattered of colors and personalities, so, you know, whatever color you want to paint him, go for it. And here I'm painting his shoes pretty dark. And, uh, you know, being impatient, not letting it dry fully. I kept trying to make the shoes darker and darker, and then I added too much water, and then it started spreading and running off past the shoes. And then I kept having to uh, try to fix it so I do make mistakes as well but um, yeah definitely let it dry before you start going to more sections and more sections so while I was waiting for Mr. Potato Head to dry I decided it was time to do the background so I got out some blue started really watering it out making it a really light opaque color and then I wet the background and I spread it on until I was happy with it. And it's kind of sporadic, so I knew that when it dried, it would be kind of like clouds and less of a flat colored background. Next was the green grass. I knew I had to make it dark enough to color the, the coffee that ran over. So I made it, made it pretty thick, pretty dark, especially in the front. And then it kind of fades off in the background, which helps make a, a distance feel to it. And once everything was dry, I got out some of the medium tone, the lighter tone, and uh, I got a color that I liked that was different than some of his pieces so that it stood out. So there I'm painting his body, and it's kind of funny. It looks more like a potato than, you know, the regular Miss Potato Head painting with coffee. And the pieces that are left, I just recommend painting colors that we haven't used before so it kind of stands out. So his nose is a little darker than his body but a little lighter than his mustache. And this is totally personal preference but I normally don't like leaving the white of watercolor paper so I got a really 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 watered out coffee color and I painted the inside of the eyes and the teeth as well just so it had something so it didn't stand out like it was unfinished. But um, yeah, you can leave it white if you want. Then take your marker and we'll color in the inside of the mouth to make it black as if it is open. And then we'll color the eyes as well and make those nice and strong so that it's the focal point. I then pulled out the purple and we're gonna paint the mug. I think purple is a perfect contrast. Um, a lot of his props were purple and uh, it looks good. I like it. But you can choose whichever color you like. And as far as his coffee goes, you can fill his cup up with whatever you want. I decided to give him a latte, so I put some latte art on top. It was a pretty difficult move, but uh, it turned out pretty cool. I recommend googling latte art, looking at a photo, and then trying to recreate it on top of the coffee cup. Good luck, because in real life, I can't even make latte art this well, so it was, it was pretty difficult. <laughs> even with painting and there we have it pull out your micron or tiny marker and it's time to sign it time to claim it as yours great job and you did it we successfully drew mr. potato head and painted it with coffee
Time to push everything away and examine our masterpiece. Slowly take the tape off and let's check it out. This turned out awesome. This is probably the best Mr. Potato Head version I've ever seen. Painted with coffee. If you want to do your own, there's a downloadable version in the description and on my website. Cheers.